I want to be bigger, I want to have bigger muscles, I want to have less body fat, be leaner, and I want to be strong. What's going on guys? It is Tuesday, May 3rd, and I hope you guys are having a great day. So, more than anything, one of the common questions and concerns of a lot of my friends and some of the people that follow me is, what kind of mobility stuff should I be doing before my workout? What kind of stretches should I be doing before my workout? I have shoulder pains, I have lower back pains, I just, I feel like I'm not getting warmed up. I feel like I'm not getting warm when I start my workout. I don't feel like I'm hitting the correct muscle activation. I feel like my muscles are cold. You know, all the same stuff coming from a lot of a lot of people. And so I've been wanting to actually make a mobility video, um, upper body and lower body. This video right here is just going to be upper body mobility. And basically, this is my mobility routine. It changes a little bit every week, and I'm still adding stuff to it, but at this current point in time right now, this is my mobility routine. So what I'm going to do here is give you two options. Uh, if you want to turn the volume off and not listen to the commentary and just kind of watch what I'm doing and take what I'm doing as a template to use for your mobility routine and you can do exactly what I'm doing or take what I'm doing and build on it or just take some of the moves that I'm doing and and, and create a mobility routine from it it's completely up to you guys mm -hmm. I'm just putting this out there so that you guys have something to go on because I, I, I don't want anyone getting injured and I don't want people getting bad workouts and I want to do everything that I possibly can to help you guys but anyways if you don't care to hear what I have to say right now, just turn the volume off and kind of use the video to go on. Um, or you can listen to what I'm going to talk about and watch the video. It's completely up to you. Or, you know, down the road, when you've already listened to the commentary, you can just watch it whenever you need to with the volume off. I know, you know, if you don't want to hear me talk over and over again. But anyways, what I was kind of wanting to talk about is... Um, I don't know if you guys watch Christian Guzman and Javon. So I watched, I started watching Javon uh, a couple months ago, which is uh, Christian's cinematographer. But anyways, Javon made a video today as they got back from Texas kind of talking about a girl had commented on uh, one of his YouTube videos and said something like uh, her friends were putting her down for always recording herself and she just found it hard to kind of stay in the grind with recording with YouTube and that was one of the biggest issues. And he was saying like, he could relate to that. He went to a Chipotle uh, a couple weeks back and was recording just the whole interaction at Chipotle, getting the food and everything. And someone told him like that he had to delete all of the content, like delete the whole video uh, of him being at Chipotle or they were gonna like, you know, call the the law on him or do, do take legal actions basically and the, the kicker is they wanted to see him delete the footage right there and you know if you have a long vlog on a camera and and your and your footage is uncut then if you delete that like you might delete half of your freaking day uh luckily i do think javon just had a cut that was just the chipotle stuff then and then he kind of cut away from it and explaining that he had to delete it because someone sort of said they were going to take legal action if he didn't delete it. But the point is, YouTube is one of those things that's looked at by society to be weird. And people, for some reason, just really demonize YouTubers. And like get some people get frustrated when they're in your video at all. And they just lash out and say they're going to take legal action or that it's so this like this evil thing that they're in your YouTube video I, I don't understand it but it's just like people don't have any respect for someone that's doing something like YouTube that's different from what they think what their idea of success is everyone wants you to go to college for eight years and become a doctor or or become a lawyer or something like that, go and work for a big company and move up the corporate ladder. But if you don't, you're kind of looked at as weird. Or, or 
people just look at you negatively and they try to shoot you down because they don't believe that that's the way that you're supposed to do it. They don't believe that that's like, that's not their idea of success. And I just want to say, guys, I've been shot down over and over and over again with everything that I've done since I was 12. I mean, even to the point when I was 12, I got jumped. Now, I didn't get jumped for any particular reason. It was just because I was different, and people did not like me because I was different. And they wanted to show me how much they didn't like me by jumping on me and breaking my leg. You know, at this point, I've... I've been taking criticism and and taking people kind of picking on what I'm doing and putting me down for what I'm doing, putting me down for being different. And I'm different by nature, guys. I, I, I couldn't have a normal job. I couldn't live a normal life. That's just not the way I'm wired. Just like the rest of you guys that are trying to do stuff that's different, that's just not the way that you're wired. So you just can't, you can't, you can't do that normal stuff. So guys, what I'm saying is do what you want to do. Do whatever, whatever you want to do ever you want to do if you're passionate about being a doctor be a doctor if you're passionate about making videos about dogs do that if you're passionate about writing books do that if you're passionate about singing do that if you're passionate about making film do that whatever you're passionate about if you're passionate about like building little toy airplanes or little toy trains that that, that go through your house or you're passionate just about marketing products on the internet whatever it is just do it it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks people are going to criticize you if you're doing something that is not their closed-minded little idea of success and most people are they have their little idea of what they want to be and what success is and if you differ from the status quo then you're going to be put down and criticized and they're gonna try to get at you and break you in any way possible even if that means being in your video and then after you recorded a bunch of stuff saying oh you better take this down or we're gonna take legal action and and I thought this was something that only happened to me but apparently it's happened to a lot of youtubers and a lot of uh, people that film and people have quit people have just quit what they're doing and just been crushed and lost out on so many opportunities because they let other people completely get to them and that's not right there's always going to be people that are going to put you down there's always going to be trolls on youtube there are always going to be people in like actual real life that, that try to stop you from doing what you're doing because they they don't want to see you succeed they don't want to see you succeed they're miserable. They've failed. They've given up. They, they're they negative now. So they want you to join them. They want you to fail. They want you to give up. They want you to join them so you can be friends, so y'all can both talk shit about the people that are trying to succeed and say they're not going to do that. They're, they're stupid. Oh, we need to go and help them. We need to show them a realistic path. We need to show them what they should be doing. Let's mentor them into being realistic and getting day jobs and working for companies. I'm not saying it's bad to work for a company and work up the corporate ladder, guys. I'm just saying this is the sort of stuff that happens. These negative people want to recruit other negative people to be in their little negative group so they can talk shit about people that are different than them. And you don't have to you don't have to buy into that. You don't have to buy into what they're trying to sell to you. They're trying to sell to you that what you're doing is too hard and too weird and that you shouldn't be doing it because it's wrong, but it's not. It's not, guys. There's nothing wrong with anything that you want to do. It doesn't matter if society deems it weird or society deems it unsuccessful, or your friends think you shouldn't do it, or your parents think you shouldn't do it. It doesn't matter if you lose your girlfriend, you lose your family, you lose your friends, you lose your house, you lose your car, you lose every materialistic thing you have, you lose your identity. Whatever your vision is, that's all you need. You didn't choose this vision. You didn't choose this dream. This vision and this dream, it chose you. So don't 
disrespect the fact that it chose you by not pursuing it because the people that are hating on you and are trying to shoot you down and break you succeed. It is your duty. Guys, it is, it is what you're supposed to do to go for those dreams and go for those visions and accomplish it. And it's going to be hard. And you're going to go through stuff. The people that are trying to build the biggest things, those are the people that go through the most hell. Because they need to be tested. They need to be ready for what is to come. They need to have the strongest character. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the mobility routine. And I hope this little commentary really means something to you guys because it's something that's been on my mind a lot lately. And I just kind of wanted to see if anyone else is going through the same stuff. And at the same time, I wanted to say, guys, you're not alone. I'm not alone. None of us are alone. We can do this. We can accomplish our dreams. We can make our visions a reality. And with that, guys, have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And all love.